Hey everyone. Now I just saw Star Trek yesterday and uh seeing that I saw Star Trek I'm gonna see a movie about Star Wars now. And obviously you can tell this movie is about Star Wars and it's about fanboys, it's called Fanboys. Yeah, about this movie. This movie is actually good. I like it. That's all I gotta say. It's very fun. Very fun movie. I don't have much time to say this, but uh I would like to congratulate uh, this movie for not sucking as much as I really thought it would. Now, no, the movie was really good. It was very funny. Dan Fogler uh, made me laugh. Sam Huntington, he's a pretty cool dude. He plays Eric in the movie. He's uh, kind of like the guy the guy of the group of the nerds. That He's in the late, least amount of nerd meanness. But he's still very funny. He's a, he's a cool dude uh, in the movie. Uh, now let me tell you about the story before Chris Marquette he plays a a guy that pretty much starts this whole trip of uh, going to Skywalker Ranch to go see episode one now let me tell you what this movie is about this movie is about a bunch of nerds that want to go see episode one and they don't know it sucks don't worry they don't know it sucks um, six months before uh, the movie actually comes out they want to see it before because they're their friend's gonna die of cancer in about three months, so he'll never get the chance to see episode one. That means that he's never gonna. He's definitely not gonna see episode two and three. Obviously, they already know it's gonna be two and three, episode four, five, and six, and there's one out coming. So he doesn't get to see the actually good one, episode three. I really like episode three a lot. It feels really like Star Wars. I think it's probably the best out of. Uh, it's probably the third best for me, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, it would be third best. Of course, Return of the Jedi, Last Hope, then three. A New Hope, sorry, I, I said Last Hope. See, I'm not that big of a Star Wars fan. Anyway, I was like, that didn't sound right. Anyway, yeah, this Star Trek uh, cameos by William Shatner, of course. Seth Rogen, who plays about three characters in this. One that loves Star Wars, and two, well, one, he plays an alien from Star Trek. One, he plays a, pretty much a pimp that loves Star Wars. It's weird. Uh, and, and the third one, he plays a, <laughs> a Star Trek uh, fan who was, a, who was hilarious. He, he was hilarious in the movie. I didn't actually think he was going to be in the movie. Uh, who else? Uh, of course, Christian Bell. She plays the nerdy girl that falls for one of the other nerdy guys. Uh, there's also Jay Bruchel, if you don't know who he is. He plays Windows in the movie. Um... He was in Knocked Up and Tropic Thunder. He played the nerdy guys in that those movies. So yeah, he's he's a big uh he's a big uh pretty much a big comedy guy. Uh I'm pretty sure he's in a drama or something, I'm not sure. Who else is it? Carrie Fisher, of course, Leia. They they have a thing for Leia. Who doesn't? Uh Jason Moss, Jay is in the movie. He has really nothing to do with Star Wars except uh, in the actual movies. He always talks about Star Wars, so I guess he does kinda. Danny Trejo, he really has nothing to do with Star Wars or Star Trek. If you don't know who Danny Trejo is, the only movie I think you would know him from is uh Grindhouse. He was in the trailer called Machete. He played Machete. Uh yeah, he's the chief in this, he's cool. Aiden Supley, he's cool because he plays Harry Knowles and he kicks everybody's ass. Uh when I did when I mean that, I mean he kicks one guy's ass. Billy D. Williams is in there. He plays here's a funny one. His name is Judge Reinhold. Billy D. Williams plays Judge Reinhold. <laughs> That's funny. Uh that I just laughed at that. <laughs> That's funny. So, yeah, that's pretty much all. Danny McBride, of course. Danny McBride, he's a funny dude. Uh, he's in the new Land of the Lost movie. He's, he was in uh, The Foot Fist Way. He was in Tropic Thunder, like I said before. So, yeah, he's a big uh, he's a big comedy guy, too, obviously. Uh, and also, that's one thing I want to talk about. Land of the Lost, I actually want to see now. Really, I do. I don't know. Every time I see the trailer, it just makes me laugh even more. Like, Serpentine! Serpentine! If you know what that one <laughs> That made me laugh for some reason. Oh, I'm getting tired. I don't know. It's stupid fun. It is. It definitely is. Look. It definitely looks like stupid fun. I never saw a TV show, so I don't know how much it looks like it. Anyway, this movie was very fun. It's kind of sad at the end too, because he has cancer. So it's not like uh, that new movie, uh, Funny People, I think it's called, with a uh, Adam Sandler. It's not gonna be like, hey, you're you don't have cancer. Ah. He even says in the trailer, oh. 
No. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, it's very sad. It's very funny. I think you should definitely see it. It's one of my favorite movies of this year. I think it came out in 2009, didn't it? If it didn't, then well, it's not. If it did, then it is one of my favorites. Uh, I'm not going to say it's in my top 10 because I don't really have top 10 yet. So, yeah, you can say it is, I guess. Uh, if I have to give it a score, it'll be a, it'll be a regular Dane. Uh, you know what? It'll be a lower Dane. It'll be like an 8.75 or something. Low Dane. So, that's a good score, by the way. That's not low. That's not low at all. So, anyway, that's pretty much all I got to say about this movie. Go check it out whenever it comes out on DVD. I guess I can't really tell you why, how I got to see it, but I'm pretty sure you guys know already. So I'm going to end this at 6. You know what? I'll just end it right now. Thank you and bye.